Hello everybody and welcome to Behringer for another update for you and this time we're talking about the exciting subject of paving. Now a, a little while ago I said to you that I was going to be doing a bit of a repair job on this one and I now have done that. It's now one complete sheet and it's now completely flush and it's fine and it looks so much better now it's been done. Um, the paving now extends down to the side here, along the road here, in the same manner, all the way around, all the way around, all the way down. So that's that part done. Also, um, we've done the station also, and the station looks so much better. As you can see, the station's now been done. And also along the back here, and along here and also I've now bridged the gap between the station building and the footbridge and the footbridge has been done also in a very ingenious manner because what I decided to do this is all out of the free warehouse scale scenes paving slab and I've just basically copy and pasted a number of them and then to create the rest of the effect that I needed so if I just remove this I'll show you the ingenious way of which I've done this This is a little flap here, which is not stuck down. So basically that belongs to the footbridge and if I need to remove the footbridge, um, you can remove it without it being stuck down to the main slab here, which is connected to this lift out section. And basically all that, the weight of the station building it keeps this in place. Also it hides the gap between, and bridges the gap between the station building and the footbridge with no unsightly gap. And also, like I said, with the weight of the building, station building, as you can see, it just pins it down, and that's all it needs. And it's been trimmed back enough that it doesn't actually creep too far forward, so you don't see it from the other side. And I'll show you what you mean, what I mean. Um, just give me one second, and I will sort that out for you. Sorry, OCD. I'm like really picky about how this sits. Um, so if you look deep inside you see that there's no actual line right in there from where the um, bit that isn't stuck down is overlapped onto this main bit so I've trimmed it back enough. I've also added a set of matchsticks on here, um, me and my matchsticks, just to create another step because I thought that um, maybe the pedestrians and passengers would have a bit of a climb to get to the station building. And then the final bit that I've done in terms of paving um, is I've done the bridge and that's been done also in the same manner so that's very pleasing that that's been done so it's another little job done it's a bit time consuming but um, I, th I think you'll agree it's very effective when you look at it like that if I just dip it at this angle you can see that the fact that there's no gap and no passengers will be committed suicide trying to jump from the station building to the footbridge to get down to the trains so they'll be happy um, a couple of new additions to let you know about um, I picked them up from the model store today one is my little fairway taxi um, and that's going to go basically over here at the taxi rank uh, I'll get a couple more or maybe another one. Try and see if I can get a red one. I know they do a red one. But the one that I'm most excited about is this one because this is literally very new. It's only just come out. This is a little Ford Fiesta, a little red Ford Fiesta. So that will sit very nicely on my 80s layout. So I'm really pleased with that. So I've got a nice little collection of cars um, as well, which I should probably tell you about at some point. Um, so my next job is to actually do all the advertising which is what's going to be another time consuming job if I just move this out of the way um, I've been trawling the internet and I've got loads of images which I've saved onto a separate folder to do with the 80s and I'm just going to resize them, crop them, cut them and we're going to have probably some along here um, we're probably going to have some along the back wall here some will be actually attached to the back wall and some will actually be freestanding because there's a slight gap in the track here 
Now that was one or two things I was going to do with that, <coughs> excuse me, which was either to build or make, well I say build but it's not really building, it's really just adding some like an island grass sort of area in the middle here just to separate the two tracks. But what I think I might be doing instead is I might be bringing this line in further and let it follow the natural curve of this one so there's a bit of a gap on this side and then it will stream down to the back wall on that end and basically by bringing this track in I could put some freestanding advertising hoarding along here so that's that's a possibility so that's something I'm going to be working on um, for the minute um, Sir Island Hill is just parked up in platform one ready to go with a set of mail coaches um, so that'll be probably going tonight at some point um, and I'll be doing a running session video soon as well that's what I need to do it's one of my next things because it's all work and no play um, so yeah so that's all going to be done and also not only just the advertising but I want to try and get um, some signage up for B&Q and start sort of settling that down if I just show you the top you can see how that looks as well so everything's starting to come together and there's all these little odd jobs but they're all quite they're all going to take time I've got the stanchions to put up on the edges of the of the um, bays I've got the bays to mark out and um, when I was in Basingstoke the other day at work I took a few photos of the markings and things like that that's on the that's in the bus station so hopefully I'll be able to sort of replicate that in some sort of fashion but yeah I'll I'll leave you with a shot of my station building and I think that's made such a huge difference now it's always nice when you sort of work with wood and so you kind of hide it and it starts to come together you put some paving on it it just looks so much nicer and neater so hopefully you like it um, feel free to comment and subscribe as always and I will speak to you soon so bye for now